our way home and there's a big storm coming up here. The sky went really, really dark. And now it's going to rain. Hello guys, Lance here with Boomer. And we're, what are you doing? We're taking a walk down to, uh, we're up here at the trailer for the weekend. What day is today? It's Friday, July the 17th, a nice evening. And we're just gonna take a walk into town to Sabo Beach. See the sunset. There's the motorhome. And tomorrow, taking the motorhome over to, to the father-in-laws and I've got to remove some of the caulking and reapply it. I had to buy Dicor, the best, but nobody was selling it in stores. I had it all order online at Amazon, so that took a week to get Sorry, that took about a week to get to me. And it was way more expensive online than it is in the stores. Campground here, I think it's about, I'd say about 80% full of RVers. I didn't think they were going to pack this place out, but I guess they are. Anyways, we're going to go through the campground here, out the gate, and head down to the beach. See you when we get there. Boomer, you excited? Of course you are. Hey Boomer, you like that Jayco? That's a nice little rig. It's like a 30, 32 footer. Here's the office of uh, Carson's camp. That office is open now. Oh, we got bingo. Wednesdays and Saturdays, 7 to 8. My son loves to play bingo. Uh, but i tell you the main reason why he likes to come down here. Because he likes to go in this hall and play the piano. Where's the piano? It's in there somewhere. This campground here has over 850 sites. It is huge. They have hedges between almost every campground. All paved roads. Three pools. Gym. This is a, I guess a, basically a, rumor. Sorry, a luxurious campground in Ontario. In fact, it's so big, it's divided. It's divided up on two halves of the highway. We're on the east side. Right, puppy? Let's go to the beach. About 75% of the uh, trailers in here are park models, and the rest are transients, weekenders, people that come up for a week, and then they have big trailers like this as well for rental. This is the gate down to the beach. And apparently it's open now. So how do you open it? Oh, you gotta get the code. Gotta go back. Okay, that's a new system. I just opened that gate instead because that one's broken. The automatic power gate. Apparently they're trying to get it fixed. Anyways, so we can't go onto the beach. No dogs, but we can walk along here into town. Come on. Okay, boom, just decide to uh, Go down the ditch and do a rollover. Come on. You done? They love tall grass, these dogs. Like, you wouldn't believe. You gotta stick on your butt. Lie down. You gonna lie down? You gonna lie down? Boomer down. Boomer down. Boomer down. I'm not gonna do it now. Okay, fine. So Soggy Nation, that's the Indian Reservation up here, are not allowing uh, visitors to come on their beach. Only people that have their cottages up here are allowed on the beach. 
But the lady just told me they've been on it every day this week, so they're not really uh, enforcing it. There's not much beach over there anyway, so soggy nation. You thirsty? Okay, try to get some in your mouth, okay? It's not tap water, okay? It's Crystal Springs from Kirkland. This is the little walk through between a couple of houses. Remember, it looks like he was about to chase a squirrel or a chipmunk. But he didn't get it. This is my friend's uncle's place, Uncle David. One of the nicest houses in town here. we got a huge property as well. So this opens up to the beach. And the beautiful sunset. A couple more hours. This used to be the Driftwood restaurant. It had the best breakfasts in town. Then it went under. And then the uh, Native Indians uh, started a restaurant because it's on their property. But it only lasted a couple of years. Oh, it's going to be a nice sunset, man, when it goes behind those clouds. And Boomer's doing the flip again. What the flip are you doing? Come on. Come on. That's a shame. I, I, I. These guys, did, these guys bought this house a couple of years ago and they really did it up nice. The fireplace, got a little swing under the tree, even a bicycle up on the tree. That's pretty cool. Whole sand pit. I think they set up a volleyball net there too and they play volleyball. Excellent. Look at this classic Firebird. Boomer, stop pulling me. You're making me jerk the camera. Man, that thing's beautiful. Don't ask me what year it is. I think it's in the 80s. I have to look it up. So here we are downtown. Oh, look at that sunset, Boomer. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Subble has the best sunsets in the world. Okay, this store down the street here called Warrior Healing Dispensary. That's a good name for uh, buying stuff, medical marijuana and all that, chewables. Chewables? <laughs> Edibles. It's right down there, so next time you're at Subble Beach, go check them out. Chipping patties open. I got the best hot dogs in town. Not that busy for Friday night. This place is usually wall to wall people here on the weekends, but. Uh oh. Like literally, it's just. You can't even walk up this street without bumping into people. Somewhere? Wanna get up here? Up, up. Get up. Okay, pull me now. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, this beach is so dead here. There's usually hundreds of people here. That is the weirdest way to uh, self distance. But I guess it works. So this beach is usually a uh, car privately owned, and people uh, park on here. If you go back to some of my previous videos, you'll see people uh, park on this beach, but they're not allowed to this summer, I don't think. Maybe in a couple more weeks. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Okay, you're all sandy now, dirty. And we don't wreck the plants. Look at that little camper there, the little trailer. That is so cute. There he goes again. There he goes again. Where are you going? Look at that sunset. So right now they've got signs up here on this beach, which has always been the dog beach, saying no dogs. I have no idea why. I don't know if the uh, previous owners sold this place or what's going on, but I think maybe they just put that here for, uh, for COVID for the summer. Here comes Carrie. She parked the car over there. Is your mommy? Is that your mommy? Boomer is so lucky because he gets to come in here and gets a free treat every time he comes into the store. It's called a gift bowl. It's been here for years. It actually used to be a bowling alley. 
another Say one? thank you. You want another one? No, that's enough. Thank you very much, oh, though. Okay. Oh, thanks, dear. Appreciate it. <laughs> Say thank you. See you next time. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, Thanks. On his nose. Take care. What's going on your nose? You guys remember last week we came up to this place. It's called the Dog Father, and now we're going to try their hot dogs. No matter how expensive they are. Okay. okay. What's his name? Ali. Ali, come here, Ali. Come here. Come here. I was trying to, but your big dog's in the plan. Yes, please. Uh, no, I'm fine. I'll get you. This is a uh, pug chihuahua mix <laughs> with golden retriever, and apparently he's got a bit of great Dane in him, too. So I just got the plain hot dog with mustard, relish, and ketchup, but it comes with nacho chips. Want a chip? What's wrong with chips? That doesn't look busy. Has that been busy? Huh? That doesn't look busy. <laughs> well, that was Supple Beach for the evening. We're heading back to the trailer and we'll see you guys tomorrow when I wake up. Bye bye. Morning guys, Lance here. Rumor and I. Bubby. On our way over to my father-in-law's, we're going to do some little bit of work on the motorhome, which is parked right there. Got to do some caulking and just some cleaning up and basic little bit of maintenance stuff like that. So we'll see you when we get there. Hey puppy, you ready to go? It's only a short 25 minute drive, okay? You going to go sit in the back? I don't know why you want to sit up there. You get your bed here. Okay, you can sit in the back. Okay, Boomer, I'll get you in a minute. Okay, we're here at Dawn's now. Oh, stop, I'm not going anywhere. I got to uh, let the sun kind of dry up the uh, top of the roof there for half an hour. Because there's a lot of dew on it. I'm coming. So, uh, as soon as it dries, I can start the caulking up on the roof. What's wrong? Wanna go see Keon? He wants to go with PC, his buddy in the backyard. All right. Okay, we're here at Don's. I got the motorhome backed in. And now I'm gonna uh, do the caulking up there. I got the ladder there. Bought a tube of Dicor off Amazon.ca. Wasn't cheap. And uh, let's get her done. Okay, I got it done. Didn't take long. Right there in that corner. Just made about four inches one way and four inches the other way. There was a crack there. I knew water was getting in. And uh, it had been resealed before by the previous owners because uh, I could tell it wasn't the original caulking. It was just a layer of really bad stuff they put on there. I don't know what it was. And uh, I guess it had, uh, I don't know which owner, two or three people owned this before, but it delaminated the wall. But it's not that bad. It's at least a delaminated on the outside. And the inside is completely dry since we've had this thing, so it's never leaked on the inside. No stain, no water stain, or nothing. So, Carrie and I are gonna meet some friends over at Harrison Park, and uh, just hang out. Carrie's gonna cook inside. I think our friends are just gonna buy something at, the, at Harrison Park, and we'll see you over there. So I'm just waiting here for some friends of ours, Kim and Randy, to come. We're gonna have a little dinner here. Carrie okay, brought some food that we're, she's going to cook up. I don't know if she's going to barbecue it or cook it inside. I don't think she'll like to cook inside because it's pretty hot right now. It is humid in Owen Sound, Ontario. Boomer's, uh, he's enjoying it though, right? Hey puppy? I wish you'd eat your dinner. Boomer. I almost knocked that. Put that on and out and hit that tree. But I missed it because I moved forward. Carrie okay, should be coming down that road anytime now. Okay, there's crazy people driving in the parking lot. Boomer! Boomer! So Wednesday's video is going to be a tour of the motorhome, finally. 
a lot of people been emailing and saying, when do we get to see inside? <laughs> There's not much to see. It's a pretty small motorhome, but that'll come up on Wednesday, okay? Boomer, you chilling out? You tired? Or are you hot? You shouldn't be tired. I haven't done anything all day. That's true. Oh my god, I got it. We got it. Very much got friends coming to visit them. Like always. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't think any other RVers came down this way. This is bigger than mine. That's a big sun seeker. Uh, Forest River, I would think. Yes, I hope it is. Randolph, how are you, buddy? Long time no see. About how many years now? Thought oh, you brought the chairs. You brought the candles? No, no candles. I got a light on my phone. You don't have candles? I didn't bring candles. Air hug. <laughs> You, you guys sit there and we'll sit here then. I'm older. I, I have to sit 10 feet away from people. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Aww. Hello. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kimmy. Hi. Oh, sit right there. Hey, Boomer. I was in the sun. Huh? Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, do you want to sit I was right there. I'm not in the sun. Yeah, they don't want to be in the sun. Is it? Okay, yeah. Um, so Randy's gonna order. What are you gonna get? Burger? They changed Something their like salads that, yeah. though, eh? Okay, good. I haven't been there I was since. So what? Really? Yeah. What I happened? I got a market salad because I always get it and it's so yummy. I like the one, the Mediterranean. That's my favorite. That's fave. the one you do? Mm. What, over here? They changed. No. No, freshy. So, what'd they say? This place. You ordered? I ordered, yeah. An hour? Yeah. No, uh. 15 minutes or so. What'd you get? Burger and fries. Mmm, because they smell good and they look good. Have you had them here before? Nope. No? They look good. Uh, I've seen them. The big fries. Big fries? Yeah. Big burgers? Big burgers. Jack, are you good? Yeah. Cool. How long did they say it would be? 10, 15 maybe. I don't know. They That's didn't not say. Bad. There was a lot of people out here waiting a minute ago. Yeah. What's that kid doing? <laughs> Randy's waiting for his dinner still, his burger and fries. Yes. The guy said it would be 10, 15 minutes. I'm going back over to the motorhome to talk to Kimmy and Carrie. Very nice here. The sun hasn't gone down all the way yet. It'll cool off quickly. That's one thing about this area, it cools off at nighttime. Right, puppy? Look at Boomer. Randy's got his food, his hamburger and fries. They always, they look good, man. Kimmy's got her uh, dessert. So, uh, my friend Kimmy here is a dental hygienist, like Carrie is. But she owns her own practice in, uh, what Hanover. town? Where? Hanover. Hanover. And it's called? Hanover Dental Hygiene Care. Hanover Dental Hygiene Care. So if you're in that area. Can you put whoa, that down when you know I was doing I this? will. Uh, Come on, Lance. On our way home, and there's a big storm coming up here. The sky went really, really dark, and now it's gonna rain.
pieces of ring on the roof. I'm parked right underneath the Sable Beach sign. The van's like shaking. Oh my God, some guy's on a bicycle. Can't even see a lake now with the rain coming. Oh. At least it's warm out. It's a dry rain. But is it ever hitting the back window? That's where I'm at home. I hope that caulking worked well. Mindigo, I could see the as far as the old cottage, but not now. Holy, oh, pick it up even more now. Okay, the van is moving back and forth. There were people just running to the car there a minute ago. And they got soaked. People still riding bikes. Uh, I guess they didn't expect this. If I opened that window, I'd be soaked in two seconds. Oh, this guy's got his muscle car. Oh man, that's not good for a muscle car. They think it was a hurricane season. I'm in Canada. Sable Beach near Owen Sound. There's two... This, Poor couple here, they, they go around and clean up all the dirt off the beach. <laughs> they got soaked. Oh, no, I can't see it. I can open this window and no rain comes in because it's coming from behind me. I understand it why these people think they can outrun this storm. And that's it, the storm's over. Just like that. This guy's an idiot. He was walking in the rain with a mask on. See you next weekend, Motorhome.